Hello, this is Edgar Morales from Adena and I'm going to show you today different ways to control the media station which is called KL3W. So basically, first of all, the media station uh, can be controlled directly from the user's interface. So in order to do so, all that you have to do is enter the IP, ad um, IP address of your media station. So I'm showing you right now the interface in which we have um, something called theme, which is a composition of an overlay that can be the logo of your company, a background color, and the layout. So in this case, I'm going to be created a new theme that I'm going to name as 009. You can name it whatever you want. And later on, you will see why I'm doing this. So I'm going to click in apply, and this was the way for me to show you how to do it with the um, user's interface. The next way to control uh, the system is by the front uh, panel keys, which are located right here. It's quite uh, obvious, right? So um, in this case, just by pressing a few buttons, you can change the layout, you can change the background color, and you can change the overlay. So let's go for the next one, which is the RS232. So, in order to connect via RS232, you need to connect your control system right here in this port, and that way you can send the commands um, via RS232, of course. It can also be controlled via the SDK. So, if you need a further integration, we can provide the API to you without any problem. And this is an example. Now, I'm going to be changing the layouts with this um, application for desktop. You can create your own for your cell phone, for your iPad, for your computer, for whatever you want, whatever you have, and you can even sell it if you have the capability, of course. And this one is very interesting. You can also control the media station via the number pad. So basically, any um, number pad can be used as a remote controller so that you can start your recording, you can pause and stop your recording, and you can change the themes. So this is located, um, normally you need to connect it right here via USB. So you have the number pad like this, and just by pressing the number of the theme, you will go directly into it. So remember I told you I would let you know why I was using the number nine? Well, I just pressed the number nine, and I'm into the layout right now that I selected before. So this is pretty much it about today's um, lecture of KL3W. If you have any questions about this, please send an email to edgar at day .com, or uh, you can also access our website for more content. Thank you very much for watching this video, and I hope you have a nice day.